Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of VDC 2017 Battle Spot Ranked. We are back where we left off after that horrible loss. Uh, I played really well, I think. I made all the right plays. I just, of course, cannot get a level protect off. Invika Volt's too slow. I should probably be running enough speed to outrun Marowak. I don't know why I'm not doing that. I'll probably need to change that. Run more speed. Because if I actually outspent Marowak, I won the game 100% of the time. So... We have a Psychic Seed Mandibuzz, which is actually is kind of weak. It's kind of threatening to my team, even though I have Specs, Mandibuzz, and Vika Volt. Boreon 2 is actually kind of hard to deal with as well. Double Dragon and then Magnezone, which is kind of interesting to see. I don't like Salazzle just because of Lele. I kind of like Metagross and Feeny as a lead. Actually, no. Actually, I think I like Vika Volt and Feeny. Garchomp in the back. And then Metagross? Yeah, Metagross. Well, yeah, Metagross, because Garchomp's the only one that it out. So, yeah, it's... I mean, obviously, it is, of course, Lele and, and, and Mandibuzz. Um, this way, I threaten Mandibuzz. And Mandibuzz generally don't carry Protect, because they have Tailwind, I believe Taunt, Roost, and Foul Play. So I can always double into Mandibuzz, turn one, and probably knock it out. Unless it's Layla is able to be slower than my Feeny, and then kill my Vika Volt. It has to be slow Fe Lele to make sense, though. He does lead Chomp Lele, which is interesting. So this is even better for me. This is even better, because now Feeny and Vika Volt make it easier. And, of course, he's slower Lele. So that's actually not bad. Well, it's actually kind of bad. Um, I'm going to Specs, Moonblast, Delay, Lay, and then Protect, I think, is the play with my Vika Volt. No, I know he's not the HB Ice. Garchomp. No reason not to. I mean, I'm kind of risking my Mandibuzz switching. He's going to go for Rock Slide, going for Hacks. I mean, it's been working out for everybody else, so it might work out for him. Oh, nice. No flinch on, man on my Feeny. But I have a feeling it won't work out. A psychic and the Vika Volt? Of course. Why is Vika Volt a threat to you? Why is it a threat to you, buddy? Why? <laughs> Why? Okay. Um, I have Chomp. I'm thinking he's Scarf Chomp. I'm thinking. I think I have to protect Chomp, just in case. I'm going to protect Chomp, just in case. Why was V coupled? I know HP Ice is obvious, but like, why attack that thing? Like, I don't know. I should protect, I should protect the V couple, I guess. But I don't want Garchomp to be able to smash Feeny, so. I wanted to just do that. I mean, instead he went for hacks, so, I mean. That's okay, I guess. But this should, this should be a good play here, because Garchomp's probably attacking my Chomp, and then Lele's probably attacking Feeny. So he's actually withdraw his Chomp. It's a Mana Buzz. For a Psychic Seed. But Lele's gonna die. He protects. That's okay, though. I mean, that's not really a big deal. I mean, I'm Specs Feeny, so, like, his Missy Seed's gonna help him. Yeah, I know, but, like, he actually doesn't have Missy Seed. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Alright, I'm jabbing Lele then. Jabbing Lele, Moon Blasting, Mandibuzz. Why does he have Missy Seed? That's interesting. Oh, well, not Missy Seed, Psychic Seed. Psychic Seed. I bet you're thinking, wait, well, where's my Psychic Seed at? <laughs> now Mandibuzz is gonna like almost die to this, so. He's gonna withdraw Lele. And two Salamence, that's completely fine by me. Um, Intimidate sucks for Garchomp, but like, I went for Jab anyway, so. I don't have Dragon Stab on this thing. So this should do a decent amount of damage, nothing too much, so. That's okay. He does Tailwind. And hopefully Moonblast can knock this thing out. I'm hoping. But I highly doubt it. Yeah, I didn't think so. Alright, so... 
Lele is kind of... I kind of want to go into Salamence, honestly. Let me look on the back real quick. Let me look on the back. Got Metagross. Chomp's probably dying. Um... I think this game's over. I think this game's over. From what I can tell. I need to sell all this terrain, though. I should have... Actually, I should hit Salamence, because Metagross can just come in and bullet punch. He's in sub Salamence. Yep. I should have went for Salamence. Okay. Great. He's in a roost. Okay. I mean, I'll take that, I guess. But... I need to sell this terrain out. I should hit Mance. It does die though, which is nice. Really regretting this turn now. Lele's coming back in. And ready to smack stuff. Yeah. The question is Chomp or Feeny? I think he's gonna go into Feeny. This is a ballsy play, but I don't think he does that. This is actually like a 50 50. I don't know what he does with Mence, though. I don't know. I mean, I think this is the best play for me because, worst case scenario, like, he might just protect Mence and then just. I mean, he has no reason to protect Mence, but let's say the best play for me would be. Best scenario would be him to protect Mence, he, and then he sidekicks Metagross, and then I kill Feeny. I mean, Lele. But, I mean, I knew that was going to happen, too, so. I mean, if he goes to the Metagross, if they double Meta, if he double in my Feeny slot, that'd be nice. Oh, he definitely hit Chomp because it's Dragonium. Yeah. That was hitting Drake. Okay, great. Well, not great, but it's alright. <laughs> so, Lele is going to be psychicking my Metagross. Okay. Terrain's going to be up because of my terrain's coming back in. So, I'm actually in pretty decent shape here. Yeah, because I can bullet punch Lele. And then Dazzle. I think Dazzle's the play. Although Moonblast seems better. But Dazzle seems interesting. It depends on what his last mod can be. So I have a real shot at this. I mean, Salamence probably has Flamethrower, but that's not really a big deal. Um, I think I have to Moonblast, actually, because Porygon D can't be in the back. So I'll BP Lele. And then just Moonblast. Mets. If he has P2 in the back, I might lose, but we'll see. Flamethrower. I'm AB Metagross, so I should be able to eat Flamethrower for days. Lele's dying. For sure. So what does he do with Mets? He's got Sub, Draco, maybe Protect, and then Flamethrower, I'm thinking, is this set? Yeah, Flamethrower for sure. How much does this do? This should do much. And he crits me, I think. I'm pretty sure. Or did that it did that much to me? Yeah, that's what I thought. Crit, crit mattered too, and that's probably gonna end the game too. Nice. I love this game. Good play, man. Good play. Good play. <sighs> that crit mattered so much too. Well, he's got Chomp in the back, right? He's got Chomp. Yeah. Crap. Okay, that game's over now. All right. So I have to just bullet punch. Salamence and then Moonblast the Chomp. The only play. So that crit I mean the crit I guess it didn't matter too much because I forgot to get Chomp at the back, but it will matter if he opts the rock slide, but he has no reason to rock slide. He's got a quake. He's got freaking Mence next to him. Now if I can crit Mence with bullet punch. He's gonna protect Mence though, I think it's the safest play. Or just sub substitute. Oh well, not sub, but protect. I should have dazzled, man. If I dazzled, I can actually win. I can actually win if I dazzled. Wait a minute. Do I win? Why would he flamethrower? Hello? Choke City? Does this, this, this live? 
it doesn't live. I win. Why would he do that? I mean, he lost anyway, I think, because couldn't, he couldn't kill Feeny. Not bad. I thought I lost this. Look at me getting played. I'm making plays now. I'm making the plays. I should have dazzled, but that's nice. I get that W. Thank you for the win, buddy. Thank you for not being able to touch Feeny. So not bad. Holy crap. I thought I, was, I thought I was done with. Not bad. So, off to a good start here. Good win. Solid win. So, this team's solid, like I said. This Snorlax definitely needs to be messed with or changed. Spix Feeny's all right, I guess. It's been helping me out. I mean, I forgot he had Garchomp. I need to take note of that. I need to start taking note of what he has when he switches out. Because if I knew, if I remember that, I mean, Specs Dazzle was good. But I guess it was better in that sense because it actually was able to kill Chomp in one shot. So, so let's go with the um, League title defense here to finish it off. La yeah, last episode was really long, but I mean, I I'm, I'm just hope they're interesting matches for you guys to watch. I mean, two matches seem like it's kind of short, but they do take a while just because I need to take my time. So we got some guy from Japan, 1542, so just four points higher than me, so I won't go to get too many points if I win. He's got round. I see you, man. I see you. He's got three choices around too. Because Feramosa actually gets round. So I'm leading Salazzle. He'll probably bring round too, because Metagross is the only check to it, so that's still nice to see. I know what it does. At least I know what it does. Um I won't leave Metagross. Salazzle. Just in case. Actually, I think Salazzle and Chomp's better. But no, Metagross is fine because Ice Beam's always a threat. Chomp in the back for Arcanine. And I'm taking Feeny in the back as well. Yeah. This man's leading round too. I know it. I got you. I'm not letting you beating me with my strat. It's not my strat, but <laughs> I, I learned it from Battle Spot. So let's see what he leads with. Because Feramosa does get round, so that could be an option for him. But I'm thinking Scarf PZ is going to be his main choice of uh, attack. So let's see. If he opts to lead it. There it is. He opts to bring Feramosa Porygon Z. So I'm going to make the obvious play. And fake out on the bullet punch Feramosa. Actually I don't know if it's a good play. I didn't get to fake out PZ and then bullet punch Fero. In case PZ is a Z move set. So I'm going to do that actually. Do I have to bullet punch Feral or kind of Zen Headbutt? Or just Meteor Mash? I'll just BP. That's fine. I'll just fake out the PZ and bullet punch. Because bullet punch would be a two shot anyway. Protect. Fine. Completely fine. And this this happens to be a... Um, he's double protect though. Yikes. Okay. Well, the good thing is if I had protect Salazzle, that needs to be a good situation. Because he's definitely going to double round in the, into my Salazzle. So I'm going to save Salazzle. And sack Feeny. He probably is Arcanine in the back. So I could just sack this. But if he got nice. But he can always double protect again. So. Um. And I can't Encore Poi on Z. Because we know it's going to be faster. So. I'm just going to go for BP onto uh, Feramosa again. It should be a two shot anyway. So I'm losing Salazzle here, which is fine. He's going to go for a round. There's no, there's no doubt in my mind he will. Yep, there it is. Okay. So round, we'll do that much. And then Porygon T can finish me off. That's okay by me. That's okay by my plan right here. So Metagross is definitely the... He's Life or PZ. Okay. That's why he's able to protect. So, if he's Life Orb, he's Life Orb. I go Feeny here. Go BP into Specs. Specs Scald, I think, is the play. Yeah. Specs Scald. Just in case he has Arcanine. So, I'll Specs Scald into Porygon Z, and then BP with the um, Feramosa. He could protect in the Thunderbolt, which would be actually a good play, but I mean, he's better off going for round, I think. But we'll see. I can't risk him going into double Feeny, so I mean, double round, so. It's my play always. If he wants to protect Thunderbolt, go ahead, but 
I'm playing it safe here because round's very dangerous. Just switch out into Arcanine, right? Arcanine, okay. Protect Porygon's Ethan? That'd be nice if he did. Why would he save it, though? I guess he wants to think... I guess he thinks he can win late game. Which is a fair assumption. Hyper Beam. Okay, that's fine. Because now my Garchomp comes in and kills Arcanine. Alright. He has to recharge, too. What was, what was he thinking? That play, I don't understand. If you have Thunderbolt, I don't know what to play. It doesn't kill, but... This is a great opportunity for me, because now I can kill Arcanine, and then Metagross can just get a free shot off in the Porygon Z. He has no flying type. So yeah, this is always a nice play for me. Tectonic Rage into Arcanine, and then just go for a free Meteor Mash onto Porygon Z. The Protect on the Arcanine is very obvious for him, but he does not go for it, so this should be a good win for me. Unless he has Kartana, which I do have Fire Fang for. Yeah, there's no way. I have Fire Fang anyway. Unless he's like Grass DMZ or like a, a crit set. Like a, uh, what do you call it? The um, the item. The scope lens? I'm not, I'm not item. I'm not sure what item was. Okay, so. Faramosa and what else is his back Pokemon? It'd actually be better if I don't kill PZ, I think. Which I probably don't. That's even better for me. Even better. Because now, Paramosa can't come in and threaten me out. This is an even better situation for me. Yes. Okay. So, BP into Paramosa. And then just, um... I guess, Fire Fang, PZ. I don't have another hit. Thing is, I'm running enough speed to outspeed Lele, which Timid Lele is faster than Timid Z, so. The protect, that's fine. Fire Fang better kill PZ. It should. I better not miss either. I'm gonna be upset. Alright, so. The question is, what is his last Pokemon? If it's Kartana, I should win. If it's Kartana, I should win. It's Feeny. That shouldn't change anything. That shouldn't change a thing. So, I'll just go for Poison Jab onto Feeny. Arguably, I can protect here. Yeah, I'm gonna protect actually. Protect Chomp, and then just Bullet Punch the Ferrosa. There we go. That's better for me. And just perfect. It's nice. So game two is one. I want to go one more. But I'm not sure if I want to do 20 minute episode or 30 minute episode. So, um, the streak is here now. We've won three straight. I want to go one more. Or not only two straight, because I lost the last one. I kind of want to go three, though. I want to go three. Let's go three. We'll do 30 minutes again. No, because I want you guys to be able to just watch it peacefully, and not have to, like... Yeah, I'll do two only, but... Yeah, let's do that. Two is easier. So, nice. Good episode. Got some pretty solid wins. Round was not able to beat me, because I knew what it did. If I didn't know what it did, I definitely would be in trouble, so... I'm assuming he knew that I knew what I did after the first turn or second turn. So, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. The team's definitely shaping out better. I'll definitely need to make a change to Snorlax, if anything. But, hope you all enjoyed, and I hope the series is exciting for you guys. Again, this is kind of bulking. This is kind of a bulk recorded thing, so I won't sure how it's doing. I won't be sure how it's actually doing on YouTube as I'm recording. But hope it's well, and hope you all enjoy. I'll bring back some more next time. Take care.